What's going on guys, it's Alex Leva back here again for a brand new video and today I'm joined with my good buddy Carson who is, as he calls himself, the Marvel fanatic. No, you, you call yourself the biggest MCU fan you'll ever know. I call myself that. Carson, who is, as he calls himself, the biggest MCU fan you'll ever know. And because of that, I thought we w I would have the video where I talk about my entire comic book movie collection with him. The first movie we're going to be talking about is one of the best comic book movies ever made. And I also want to give a shout out to a video that we did. We did a video with uh, Joe Russo in it, the guy who directed Avengers Endgame. By far one of my favorite videos I've ever made. I just love the way uh, it turned out. One of the few instances to where the video turned out better than it was um, in my mind's eye. I definitely thought it was a good video. The way you just edited it, like the entire video, just like Endgame. Let's go meet this son of a bitch. Just like us going to Chicago and everything. Music. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, I tried to like edit it like exactly the way Endgame ends up playing out. If you guys check out the video, you'll see like what I'm talking about. But uh, uh, link down in the description below. Uh, it's I'd highly recommend you know checking that video out. You know instead of this one, that's way better than this video. Honestly, anything new to say about Avengers Endgame or or, or that video or? Uh, I think I said what already needed to be said. Like I liked the uh, experience of going with Leva and everything. It was fun. He just signed this. Just like this uh, photo that I took. These uh, are probably worth a lot of money. And Carson, when you become really famous one day, that photo of you is going to be worth a lot of money. When you become um, second in charge uh, producer of uh, Marvel, um, right next to Kevin Feige. Really being a screenwriter would be really cool. What kind of movie would you love to write? I feel like to like juggle like an Avengers movie is just very complicated because mm -hmm. you have to write like 30 plus character developments. Why is it that Marvel and superhero films are your absolute favorite thing that you're most passionate about. Like seeing the development of characters, obviously. Like it's like seeing like people come from like the ground up and just like work from that. Like Iron Man, for example, he literally works from the ground up to get where he is now. Yeah, I'm not the biggest comic book movie fan. I mean, of course I really like them. A casual fan, you could say I loved Endgame, I love Joker. And are we going to be getting to the movies, Leva? Yes, we are. I'm just talking a little bit about the, my viewpoint on comic book films in general. Okay, all right. I love that. That's the cheesiest look I've ever seen. So, you know, not the biggest fan of them, but like I said, I do really like them, and they're definitely some of them that I hold in high regard. I don't know if that's the right expression. Next up, my favorite movie of 2019. Absolutely adore everything about this film. You said it's your fifth favorite movie of all time, and link down below to a video him and I did to where we went to go see that movie in theaters with one of my best friends, Paul Flores. I actually really like that video, especially the beginning when I got his reaction to you, you saying your five favorite movies. It's in my top ten now. I did watch other movies that replaced it. Like what? List your top ten. Endgame, Infinity War, Civil War, uh, well, I forgot. Scarface? Yeah, Scarface, yeah, and then the fourth is, uh, End of Ava. Um, six would have to be... Far From Home, Into the Spider-Verse. Are you fucking kidding me? Joker. Are you f No. Um, Joker's better than Far From Home, dude. Come on. Mm -mm. At least. Mm -mm. You gotta be fu- mm -mm. And uh... Probably... My arm's getting tired. Uh, either- I don't know. Yeah. The East Rail 7-7 Trilogy. Unbreakable, Split, and Glass. I think they could have came up with a, a cooler name for the series. Unbreakable is one of my favorite movies probably. I love the message behind it. And it surprises me that you've never seen these movies before. I've seen Split. Split, you know, of course, fantastic movie. I'm glad I have it on 4K. Glass was a disappointment and like, you really see like so much of bad M. Night in this, but 
There's still, in my opinion, good aspects to it. Great filmmaking. Y you could see a lot of good M. Night in this and also a lot of bad M. Night in this, which makes it so frustrating. Next up, a movie that we saw in the movie theater together and we did like a, a, a vlog going to see it. Link down below to that video if you haven't seen it, by the way. Brightburn. Brightburn. It's not a comic book movie, but it's like a super, kind of superhero. It's like three different genres in one. It's kind of kind of like a thriller a little bit. It's really super. Horror, it's literally just bad Superman. Horror, comic book, comedy, and also kind of thriller. It's like a mix of different genres. This is like not a good movie, but like there's some good aspects to it. Like legit, like good filmmaking. That was funny. My favorite comic book movies of all time, right next to The Dark Knight. The Spider-Man trilogy, Sam Raimi trilogy on 4K. It's a digi book. You get three versions of Spider-Man 3. That's worth pr the price right there. Mm. Okay, so have you seen the Spider-Man 3 editor's cut? I have not. Like, when I heard about that, I thought, okay, that's interesting. Maybe they're gonna try to fix things. They, like, rearranged scenes, like, right after Peter, th like, Pumpkin Bomb's Harry in the face. It literally cuts to him dancing in the street right after that. So it's like he's happy that, like, that he thinks he killed Harry. Seriously? There's, like, three scenes that are replaced. And the scene at the end between Harry and his butler is just cut. Like, it's just not in the movie. I'm not entirely sure if it like helped too much. I would say sort of. Do you think Spider-Man 3 is as bad as everyone says it is? To be honest, I don't think so. I th Same. <laughs> A step above guilty pleasure. Like, like there's enough good in it to where like it outweighs the bad. But Spider-Man 1 and 2, I grew up with them. The original Spider-Man in 2002 was the very first movie I've ever seen in a movie theater. The Batman 1989 Digi book, as well as the Batman Returns Steel book. This is so cool, man. <laughs> I love this, like this is so amazing, wow. <laughs> Next up, a movie that I got for um, a good deal at Best Buy. Like, they were trying to get rid of them. They realized that $35 was too much for, you know, movies that came out a long time ago just on 4K Steelbook. And so they're like, yeah, we're reducing that. Like, I bought a few of the Pixar Steelbooks for 10 bucks a piece. That's a steal right there. No pun intended. I love this. But love Iron Man 1 4K Steelbook. <sighs> One of my fa one of my top favorite comic book movies. Yeah, I saw this in the movie theater back in the day. Everything's already been said about it. Next up, a piece of crap movie. Iron Man 2. No, uh, that's debatable. I, Not P I, I love I, this movie. You love this movie. Yes, it came out on my birthday. And it's fucking great. It says War Machine in it, Whiplash. Underrated. No, it's not. Well, a movie that's pretty underrated. According to the flick pick, because he's the only person who ever praises this movie or talks about it anymore. This okay. Nobody, like, just ever since the Avengers came out, everybody forgot about it. I wish Edward Norton was still in with the Avengers. Although Mark Ruffalo is pretty good. You just can't look at it as like connected to the MCU. I would say it would be connected considering the fact that Tony Stark's at the end of this movie. Next up, a movie that I don't think anybody likes anywhere near as much as they used to, the original Avengers. It's still a good movie. I opinion. love this movie. Iron Man 3, an okay movie, way better than 2. A lot of people hated it. Never knew why. Yeah, well, because of the Mandarin twist. And plus, nobody likes Guy Pierce, Especially Wasting Money 1. I hate Guy Pierce though. Have you seen Memento? The movie was good. Prometheus, he annoyed me. Lockout, he annoyed me. Time Machine, he annoyed me. He always annoyed me. Alien. Iron Man 3, he annoys me. Alien Covenant, he annoyed you, even though he was only in it for 30 seconds. Yeah. Yeah, I just don't like him. Good looking guy. I never expected it. And like, it actually like made the story more impactful. I haven't seen it since 2013, so I don't really know what you're talking about. I used to have Thor and, uh, the first Captain America, but I sent it to one of my subscribers and we were doing a trade. Captain America the Winter Soldier. This movie carries one of my favorite tones. It's set in like a dark, like kind of like dystopia where they're actually figuring out that the good people are actually been like the bad people for decades. It's like S.H.I.E.L.D. is Hydra and how it's compromised and everything, and how, Hell like, Hydra. Every movie the Russo brothers directed has been your favorite movie. First Civil War was your favorite movie, then Infinity War came out, that was your favorite movie, mm -hmm. and then when Endgame came out, now that's your favorite movie of all time. Watch the fifth. Paul Flores' reaction 
to that was hilarious. <laughs> I knew that, that, that it would be a good dynamic between you two in that vlog we did, going to see Joker. And I was really hoping that it would end with like a fist fight where you guys are just punching each other in the face over it because he hates superhero movies so much. <laughs> it sucks that it didn't end up happening. Guardians of the Galaxy, how can you not like this movie, you know? And I got this slip cover for free from a, a very nice employee at Half Price Books when I was hanging out with Cine Creep a long time ago. But then she fucked me over right after this. And uh, this Blu-ray I got in a video with uh, Dalton Euler in the second video we ever did. Next up, a movie that I don't really like, to be dead honest with you. Avengers Age of Ultron, The Steelbook. Do you want this? Yes. Yes, Leva. Yes, okay. I do. Alright. Oh my gosh. 20 bucks. You're funny. Really? No, I'm gonna no, put it. No, give it to me. God damn it. You're such a child, Cars, that I love it. <laughs> I mean, I am too, so that's why I love it. It might literally be my second or third favorite. I love this movie. A lot of people said, like, oh, it's decent. It's a decent, alright movie. I think it's way better than a lot of people say. The first Ant Man. Ant Man and the Wasp, you know, not as good as this, but still decent. I love everything about it. Directed by Peyton Reed. When I first saw this movie, uh, I was. Uh, uh, disappointed that um, Edgar Wright didn't get to direct his Ant-Man movie. I mean, it definitely would have been a better movie for sure. And so because of that, I was expecting this movie not to be good. Like, oh, this guy who just directed, like, you know, comedies. I mean, I like Yes Man, but I, I, I don't like anything else he ever did. But when I saw it, I was, like, pleasantly surprised. And I ended up, like, really loving this movie. And uh, just everything about it, CGI very well used, good funny story, Captain America Civil War, pretty good flick I think. It's my third favorite movie of all time. <laughs> yes. And why are you laughing? <laughs> the final fight. One of the greatest fights ever. Like it was the most suspenseful. I seriously did not know who was going to win that. Doctor Strange on 4K. The time, like, rewind thing. I thought that was very clever. Um, I've come to park and <laughs> mm -hmm. that was hilarious. You're expecting this big thing, but then they subvert your expectations and do that. Like, that's yeah. hilarious and clever. Mm -hmm. By the way, I noticed that you're doing these in order, which I really like. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. I, I got it for five bucks at Discreet Play. That's the only reason why I have it. I actually like it better than the first one. Spider-Man Homecoming, good Spider-Man movie for sure. In my opinion, Far From Home is better. I love Iron Man in it. The way that like Peter's trying to be like the next man up. A lot of people are saying like, yeah, he's gonna be the next Iron Man and stuff like that. No, he's not. He's just trying to be the one leading the pack. But that's basically the next Iron Man because that's what he was doing. I don't know if they're gonna go that route because I think I, I think Spider-Man's too young. Ant-Man and the Wasp, like I said, not as good as um, the first Ant-Man, definitely. People say this is like the worst MCU movie. I'm like, no. This is like definitely somewhere in the middle. Decent flick, I think. Definitely enjoyable because I love the first Ant-Man so much. After credit scene was great. I had the rank this is a mid-tier MCU film, definitely. Spider-Man Far From Home. I love this movie. There's so many things I like about this movie. I love the opening. Love the after credit scene. The first one, obviously, because J. Jonah Jameson. One of the best characters of all time. One of those roles you can't recast. Mysterio, definitely a character I wanted to see in a movie. And that is it for the MCU films. Hulk and from 2003, The Steelbook. I don't really know why I have this. I remember when I first saw this in theaters, I couldn't even watch the first half because I was scared of him turning into the Hulk and I just watched Shark Tale instead. <laughs> When I first saw this movie back in 2016, I, uh, like, fanboyed over it. I thought it was the coolest, funniest thing ever, and I still really like it. These damn superhero movies just keep getting better and better. That was a meme for so long. I have the Blu-ray that I got right when the movie first came out. I talked about this in a Blu-ray update back in the day. Another flashback. Double whammy right there. Deadpool, I thought this was a really great movie. I loved it so much. I saw it twice in theaters, then again on Blu-ray. I really like that cover and the red Blu-ray case, but I also got the 4K steelbook. Carson saw it, and I really wish I would have got his reaction to looking at it. He goes, oh, it's amazing. <sighs> no, I don't know if I did that. That was nasty. It keeps its comic consistency. The characters are all funny. Like how it was like mainly just like the backstory of him for like, 
half the duration of the movie. I so love that, the... Because nobody really knew Deadpool's story. So this was a great way to explain it to like the people, like, like uh, non-comic book readers or moviegoers. I love how everything is cut together, about how it flashes back and goes back to the present, and then eventually it's all caught up, and then it plays linear. I love Weasel. Carlson, I'm gonna do to you what Limbiscuit did to music in the late 90s. Deadpool 2, nowhere near as good as the first one, in my opinion, but it's still a decent, funny movie. I am not an X-Men fan, but I actually do really like this movie. I watched it again recently. Logan, I picked this up uh, with my teacher. Mr. Kinsey, if you're watching this, come back to the Alex Leiba channel. You said that what the second video is The Empire Strikes Back. Come back to complete the epic Kinsey trilogy. Come back for your Return of the Jedi. Again, up there with some of my favorite, one of my favorite comic book movies, Avengers Infinity War. The ending is fantastic. There's no point to even talk about it because everything has already been said about this movie. In my opinion, Endgame is definitely better. A lot of people say that Infinity War is so much better. Malachi literally has came around and said Endgame sucks. He doesn't understand the fan service as much as other people would. It's funny because like when I I went to my Uncle Ed's house. He's like, yeah, I saw Endgame three times in the theater. He goes, it, it took you nine hours to figure out that you don't like it. I got this when it first came out. I missed on the steel book, but I found the steel book for 14 bucks at a used store. And so I got it. It was in great condition. I'm so happy that I got it. And so this one I'm trying to get rid of, you know, because I have the steel books. I mean, I would take it, but I really got like three copies of it already. I mean, an extra one wouldn't hurt. I mean, it has been a movie that I've been waiting ever since Marvel Studios announced it in 2014. Aquaman on Blu-ray. The only reason why I got this uh, was because it, it was for $3 at a pawn shop, practically brand new. I bought it, I watched it, all damn near three hours of it. I thought it was okay. I don't know, like, I mean, to be dead honest, I wasn't really interested. And I thought it was uh, kind of funny that Patrick Wilson was in it uh, because uh, James Wan directed it. He's one of my favorite directors. He's one of the only reasons why I even checked it out. I haven't seen this movie yet. Good. Sin City, one of my favorite uh, comic book films. I love the visual style of this movie to where it's like colorization mixed in with black and white. I've always thought that was the coolest special effect ever and when I first figured out how to do it, like in videos, like how to do it in my editing software, I'm like, this is the coolest thing ever and for a while that's all I did. Sin City, A Dame to Kill For. An alright sequel. I don't know, it's okay. Uh, really cool steelbook though. I really wish I had a steelbook for the first one. Kick ass in 4K. I actually like the second one better. Motherfucker was completely the funniest, funniest name ever. <laughs> It's a very dark tone, which I really liked. Rorschach was the highlight of that movie. The Crow. Flashback to when Malachi and I were talking about this. We had a decent little dialogue on, um, God, I'm talking like Tarantino. We had a decent little dialogue on that. Like, I, I guarantee he talks like that in real life. Like, he literally, okay. But, y yeah, um, flashback. The Crow is a great film. Uh, the main actor died as they were shooting the movie. As they're shooting the movie, he got shot with a camera and with a real gun at the same time. Okay, I'm, I'm cutting that. That was terrible. He got shot twice at once with the camera and the gun. Damn, double whammy right there. I'm pretty sure that footage got destroyed, which I don't know why they would keep it. Well, it was a prop gun, but someone loaded real bullets in it. Um, I feel like that's wrong. Who, oh, all right, he died by someone shooting him by accident. And, and then they had to do like Bottom a bunch line is of- he's dead. Uh, it's really just like, fuck, dude. Just imagine like the premiere for that movie. It's like the movie premiere is also his funeral. Yeah, like, <laughs> it's like Jesus. That's it's gotta okay. be depressing. V for Vendetta. X-Men. Like I said, I'm not an X-Men fan. Do you want this? Sure. Superman, Superman 2, and Superman Returns. I am not a Superman fan, to be dead honest with you. Batman vs. Superman. I don't like this movie. I did a review for I it. I love I did a review for it a long time ago when I was talking crap to a guy. Talking crap about this movie. And now nowadays... I would completely be on his side. I like that movie. I, I like the concepts of like Batman killing and stuff like that. Cause like, it's a definitely darker tone. Yep, I don't like the movie, but I got the IMAX poster for it. So at least there's that. 
Suicide Squad, as Paul Flores put it, what an awful, awful movie. Fantastic Four, Fantastic Four, Rise of the Silver Surfer. I don't like this one really, but this one is kind of a guilty pleasure. Galactus is stupid. Like, he's just like, yeah, it a cloud. is. This is it's a just a cloud. I like Ghost Rider. It's not good, I get it. I saw this back in 2007. I liked a lot of cringy bad movies. The enjoyment comes from the fact that I, I grew up watching it and I thought it was cool, but Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance, I hated it when I first saw it, but uh, great filmmakers. And just like what YMS said, you have to respect these filmmakers. They literally like had a guy fly off a, cr a, a cliff like with a, a camera just to get certain shots. I got the slipcover from David. Thank you, David. Hellboy and Hellboy 2. Found it for really cheap at a pawn shop. Blade 2. This is Sparta! Is this superhero movies? Based off graphic novels, so why not? A few box sets. I got the Spider-Man Limited DVD Collector Set. 300, the Limited Collector's Edition Set. The Dark Knight, you know, it's the Dark Knight. Don't need to say anything. Dark Knight Rises, also a good movie. You know, definitely one of my favorite movies. Heath Ledger and Joaquin Phoenix. I don't think one's better than the other. I just think that they they did about the same, you know, um, in terms of doing, doing a good job acting. I think both performances are on the same level. Except for uh, Jared Leto, about how you said he tripped or jumped down the stairs willingly. <laughs> the coolest thing in my comic book movie collection, aside from the autographed Joe Russo Blu-ray steelbook, the Ultimate Dark Knight Trilogy. Anything new to bring to the table about these movies? I don't think so. I loved how they brought Catwoman to the table in the story. I like how they did two villains per movie, just about. Alrighty guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know what you guys thought of the video down below. And uh, if you guys check out um, any of the videos that I asked you to check out, you know, the videos Carson was in, the Joker vlog, the Brightburn vlog. You don't really have to check out the Brightburn vlog check if you Check out the Brightburn to. vlog anyways. <sighs> no, for, okay. If you're gonna check it out, check out any videos uh, that I recommended in this video, definitely check out the We Love You 3000 video with Joe Russo. I think he has a pretty solid collection, and I'm completely jealous of what everything he's got with like the Dark Knight, like 4Ks, and all the steel books he's got, and the Deadpool steel books he's got. If you give me so 300 good. bucks, I'll give you everything. I'm good. Thanks, okay. though. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Labonymous and add me on Snapchat at Label with 5 as well as give him a, a follow on Instagram. Person underscore ya yeah, underscore boy with an I. All right, guys. I'll see you later. Say bye, Carson. Bye, guys. Have a good day or whatever time you're watching this. Take care.